Hey everybody, good morning. So today we're gonna to be working on a new wreath. I'm going to be making a very glam, witchy Halloween wreath for my front door. So we are gonna start with an, this works, with an 18 inch grapevine wreath. You can find these for about five bucks at the craft store. What I like to do first is kind of plan where I'm going with this. I got my glue gun heated up, so as soon as I know where everything's going, we're gonna start gluing things on. One of the first things I like to do is prepare all my supplies too. So, gotta get this guy off. I bought this little sign at the craft store. Enter if you dare. This is gonna go right in the center of my wreath. This had a, here it is. This had a wire on top so you can hang it. I'm just kind of cutting it off with my wire cutters here. Okay, there we go. Now, I think where I'm gonna start is with the florals. So I have some really pretty florals over here. Kind of tangled up right now, okay. These I'm gonna do last, I think. So if you could see these, I got, they're really big flowers. You can see they're kind of bigger than my hand even. Um, I'm just gonna pop them off the stems. And hopefully they come right off. Yep, there we go, easy. Now, I don't know about you, but I do like spooky Halloween. A um, little bit creepy. So I got these eyeball picks and what I'm gonna do with this flower is I'm actually gonna glue it right in the center. You can't really see it's dark, but we're gonna do that a little later. I'm just gonna finish preparing all these things. This guy, I think I gotta cut. Some of the wires in this is totally crazy. Hey, Sarah. Oh, there we go. That was easier than I expected. Okay. So I'm going to kind of figure out where I'm putting this stuff. I have another bunch of black florals here. They got like leaves and stuff in them. And I think I might just start pulling apart some of the leaves so I could stick them in between. Um, what I like to do first is put the bigger flowers on and then I like to stick the extra stuff in after that. It's a little bit easier than that than trying to figure out everything at once. Um, I also got little pumpkins to stick in there. Sparkly pumpkins. I got these fun little glittery spiders. They jiggle, but I think we're going to take them off of the clip. Um, I also have this cheesecloth that I dyed like a million years ago and just tore up. So it kind of looks like tattered curtains or spider webs, but it's really easy to make. Um, basically just take your average cheesecloth, get black dye, soak it in there for as long as you want. I kind of let it go gray instead of black, pull it out, let it dry. And it just faded over time and it's perfect for Halloween. Um, I've draped this over lampshades. I've, it's stuck on my wreath now. <laughs> I draped it over um, like bushes in the front yard. Um, but today I'm gonna work it into my wreath. I have so much of this stuff that I have stuff to spare. All right. I also got these foxtails. Um, these are gonna go in later too because they're just so big and dramatic. Right, it was such an easy idea too, that cheesecloth. Where I found that idea was I love those like Halloween shows on Travel Channel. So, um, like I like seeing the way that people decorate their homes for Halloween. So this woman said that every year she puts these spider webs on her lawn. And that's what it was, it was the cheesecloth. I'm like, cheap, easy, simple, got it done in a day. So, all right, let me figure out where I'm doing this, all right. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna start gluing on these big guys now. Got my glue gun all ready to go. So I'm gonna take my eyeball, I'm gonna stick it in the center of this flower, although I don't, 
I might have to cut this it has some little plastic things inside of it so I'm gonna see if I could cut those down without damaging any of the petals yep got it all right we're good to go now so this actually idea came I I think it was last year or the year before. You may remember I put a wreath on the blog. It was made on a witch hat and it had these black roses in it. And the black roses actually had eyeballs in them. It came that way. So that's kind of my inspiration for this guy here. I'm running out of glue already. I had another glue stick around. All right, and just always be careful when you're working with glue hot glue, hold it in place for a little bit. There we go, a little spooky, not too spooky. That's where we're going with this. I'm kind of going like glam Halloween theme this year, very witchy, um, but also kind of sparkly. Even though I do love, like Halloween's the only time of year that I love the absolutely being creeped out. Only time of year. The rest of the year, don't bother me with that scary stuff. Okay. And this tutorial, in case you miss it here on live, it's gonna be up on the blog on Friday, I hope. So this guy, I'm just gonna go ahead and glue into place right now. Hang on a minute. I'm losing my new glue stick. stick him right here on top so you can see him immediately when you come up to my door basically let's make sure he's nice and glued in place I'm a more glue is better type of girl <laughs> thank you everybody who's starting to join we're creating a DIY Halloween wreath today Okay, so that guy's good. Now we're gonna take this floral, um, this flower. It's a little black, but in the center, if you could see, it's got some really pretty burgundy in it. Um, I love the color theme in Michael's. It goes from fall was kind of pastel, but now we got these like dramatic colors for Halloween, which I'm just loving. So that's gonna go right next to that guy, like that. I think I gotta secure him a little more. There we go. Okay. Just gonna hold that in place a couple more seconds. And then I'm gonna glue this flower onto it. Like I said, the more glue, the better. We want this to hold. Okay, perfect. So let's see if I can hold this up. Okay, so we're starting to come along. Now, if you noticed my previous wreaths, like they've had one side covered and the other side is empty. This time I think I'm gonna do one side covered and then I'm gonna put the cheesecloth on the other side. Um, just to make it kind of tattered and worn looking. And then the sign is gonna go right down here in the middle. So we're kind of all covered this time. Now I think as far as these guys go, I'm gonna kind of stick them on top and let them drape over. I think that'll be nice. So I think we're going to clip them just like that. And then we're going to just sort of stick them in, a little glue on them. So let's just remove these from the stem. And right now, if you go to Michael's, everything is on sale for Halloween already. I'm sure they got even more Christmas out than they did the last time. Hello again, everybody joining. Once again, we're making a Halloween wreath, kind of on the glam side, not so spooky. Okay. So 
So we're gonna remove the tags. Now we're gonna start arranging these on top. I'm just gonna swivel this this way. And these are gonna get stuck underneath. So we're just gonna put a little glue on the stem and start sticking them underneath that top flower. And then like I said, they're gonna hang over. They'll look really nice and add a little more color. So it's not just like a black floral wreath. This year I'm very non-traditional with my colors for um, not just Halloween, but fall. Usually we go for, you know, the rustic oranges and everything like that. But this year I went totally pastel for fall and I'm doing sparkly purple Halloween stuff. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Do you guys stick with traditional colors or do you go a little more adventurous with your holidays? Now I have to start thinking about Christmas, right? What am I gonna do for Christmas? Christmas, I feel like I'll probably stay traditional. Maybe. <laughs> Depends on how I get inspired. This guy, he doesn't want to get under there. Alright, hang on. Let's see if we could put him in the back. There we go. So that's how that's starting to look. I actually really like that, how it hangs over. Okay, let's see. I think I might stay with just the three of them. We'll save these for something else. All right, so let's move on to adding in everything else. So um, these have little black flowers on them. I'm just gonna pop those off. Um, they have some nice, some nice leaves on there too. We're gonna take those off as well. I tell you, some of the wires in these things are crazy. We have some sparkly branches. I like these. I'm going to take these off too. Let me add those in. Okay. So I think we're going to start. We're going to start with this. So you just want to start positioning where everything is. Usually I like to do this up front, but since I'm doing this live, I figure I'll show you guys how I like to plan my wreath and everything. No, I don't, I don't think I'm going to use this actually. Okay, so we're going to start popping these leaves in there. Glue on the end. I'm going to stick that underneath that flower. Now it looks like it's finally starting to come along. A little bit. All right. I'm just going to add a few more leaves. Actually, that can go on there, I think. Just add that back on there. So I got some leaves on there now. I'm digging this so far. What do you guys think? I got another flower I could put on there. I'm going to put that right on top of the leaves. Yes. Okay. Now I got these fun sparkly branches. I'm gonna just kind of, I think, stick them where I can. Yes, okay, I like that. Uh-oh. I think I just dripped, that's okay. Hot glue, thankfully, is very easy to remove in case you make a mistake. Just like I said, watch your fingers.
So do you guys do themes for Halloween? Like I said, this year I'm kind of going witchy, which I think I did last year actually too. Um, I've been obsessed with witches since I was little. I think I was a witch every year for Halloween when I was little, <laughs> pretty much every year. In fact, one of the books I'm reading right now is about um, like a witchy murder trial thing. Not like Salem witches, but just a silly little crime novel. But I figured it was good for this time of year. Yeah. <laughs> I know a lot of people that don't decorate as much anymore. Me, I just love it. I love getting into that time of year. These branches, I'm having a little trouble getting on this stick. Let's see. Maybe. Wish I had some floral wire handy right now. That might come in handy. So maybe later what I'll do is from the back, I'll just tie those branches up with floral wire. Okay. Let's see. Hopefully that helps a little bit. All right, so we're getting there. Now I got my pumpkins I'm gonna start putting in. This guy I liked, he came in that bunch with all my, um, the black leaves and the black flowers. Basically bought it just for the pumpkin. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure, Sarah, four kids, that definitely keeps you busy. God bless you. Okay, so here's where we are for the moment. Before I get too low in here, I'm going to just pop my sign on figure out where the middle is and then, okay, good. Right about there. Okay. It kind of feels weird doing this today because it's 80 degrees outside, but I am so ready for fall and Halloween and cold weather. I just want to wear my boots. <laughs> I'm so not a summer girl, even though I was born in the summer. I was born in the heat of the summer. I was born the end of July. My birthday is July 29th. I don't like the heat at all. Okay. So there we go. Enter if you dare. that in place right it's been this whole summer has been so hot and not only hot but it's been like constant rain I swear this is like the first day of sunshine we've had in forever it feels like it hasn't been forever but it feels like the sunshine has been a rare occasion this summer I'm ready just to rip out my garden and be done with it. I started decorating outside for Halloween. I feel like if I put this stuff out, maybe fall will come. <laughs> That's how I'm thinking anyway. Okay. That's that. Now, let's see if we could stick a spider somewhere. All right. Well, that, that was easy. That popped out easy. I'm gonna have a little spider over here and then I think I'm gonna save one when I drape some of the cheesecloth over. So actually, these flowers took up way more room than I thought they were going to. 
That's okay though. Could always use some of this stuff for other projects. All right. See, I have my little spider in there. We are coming along nicely. Hunter, no barking, I'm live. <laughs> he snorted. Hey. my little pumpkin these guys came on one branch and I just popped them <laughs> off they're all different sizes no I don't know if I'm actually gonna use them because I kind of think it looks good right now I don't want to crowd it too much so what I'm gonna do is start playing around with this guy the great thing about this, you don't even need scissors. We can just, I don't even know where this starts right now. Hang on. <laughs> we could just start tearing it. There we go. I kind of want a long strip of it. Dropping pumpkins. I'm getting so tangled in this. <laughs> it's picking up everything. It's like Velcro. Okay. Legit stuck on the wreath right now. Hang on. Technical difficulties. Okay. So I just got a nice little strip like that. And I'm just gonna stand up for a minute, guys. She might just tear it a little more. Okay, there we go. And I'm thinking, thinking that I might start. I don't know if I should wrap it. Maybe I should wrap it instead of ribbon. Like a ribbon, you know how some wreaths have all ribbon around it? I think I might do that instead. You figure if a witch was doing this, right? I mean, she would probably just use whatever she had. Crafty little witch. So I'm gonna start stringing that along. We could arrange it and you know tear it up a little more after it's in place but right now okay good I think we're gonna stop there about like that and then I'm just gonna trim off the end and glue that into place This is definitely a watch your finger moment. <laughs> Make sure you have plenty of glue sticks handy because you're gonna need them. Especially if you glue things down like I do. I wanna make sure these things are gonna be stuck on here for years and years and years and years. Especially since I've been using the same Halloween wreath for about 10 years, I would say. It's a black wreath and it's got little candy corns in the middle. Just kind of got sick of looking at it. So, all right, where's my end up top here? But truthfully, the way this gets stuck on here, you probably don't even need glue, but we're gonna do it anyway. at least just on the ends. There we go. All right, we're gonna let that dry for a minute 
And then once that's dried, I'm going to try to carefully just spread out the cheesecloth a little bit, maybe make some holes in it. Um, then we might be done, actually, because I don't think I really have much room to work with unless I started putting stuff here. Maybe we can, I don't know, let's say. Nah, I think I'm gonna leave that side like that actually. All right, so this is pretty much the finished look. What do you guys think? Should I add more? Should we leave it? Let me know. Hunter, shh, lay down. There we go. That's kind of the look I want. It's really easy to tear this stuff too. Thank you for joining. We're just finishing up a Halloween wreath. There, you see that? Look on its tattered and worn look. Just gonna get that in position. Might add a little pumpkin there. I'm not sure, let's see. Maybe I got something else I could add in there. There's a spot I don't like that's empty. And here we go, what's this? Oh, that might work. There we go, okay. Very strange the way this is on there. One more thing and then I think we are done. This whole tutorial um, linked with supplies that you need is going to be on the blog on Friday. So in case you missed the beginning, well this is gonna be on Instagram obviously all day. Um, I'm also gonna save this video and pop it on my YouTube channel. I'm trying to get better at doing that, um, sharing my tutorials that I share here on YouTube, so they're up there permanently. Okay, there we go, that looks a little better to me. All right, guys, I think we are done. I think we're ready to go hang this on my front door. <laughs> I'm so excited about it. So if you wanna create a new Halloween wreath this year, definitely head to the blog on Friday. Um, check my Instagram post for when, thank you. Check my Instagram post for when the post is live. Um, also, you can follow me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter. And I'm just gonna pick off some of this glue now and go hang it up on my front door. Check my story because I will let you guys see how it looks on the front door. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. And um, once again, this will be up on the blog on Friday. I hope you like the wreath tutorial. I hope you make your own. If you do, um, make sure you share here on, I almost said Facebook, Instagram, hashtag livinglavita DIY. Thank you. Have a great day.